Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Welcome back, everybody. A live look with our Graber Post building cam looking west out of Terre Haute. We've seen some clearing taking place and some sunshine out there, and that's helping to warm things up just a little bit. As a matter of fact, remember when the first half of this month it was five and a half degrees below normal? Well, now, with just a few days left in a month, we're 2.3 degrees above normal. So a big flip in the pattern there just about mid-month. I also wanted to show you this. The coolest morning for the Indy 500, this is the low temperature. In 1947, was the coolest start to the race day at 37 degrees. It's going to be pretty cool this year. The forecast for the Indy area is around 46. If we hit 46 degrees in Indy on Sunday morning, it would make it the coolest start to the day for race day since 2002 when it was 46. So we could be looking at maybe the coolest start to the day in 20 years. Now, it will be a nice day for the race if anybody's headed over that way. We're talking some sunshine, pleasant temperatures. After a cool start, we're going to be up around 72, so a nice day, but it will be a cool start to race day this Sunday. We are talking some cool weather moving in here for the weekend, especially on Saturday. I'll show you that here in just a little bit. We bumped up to 81 just a little while ago. That's our high for the day. 67 has been our low. Not a whole lot of rain anywhere across the area. We picked up 0.18 here, 2.74. So far for the month. Here's your sunrise sunset for tomorrow and the amount of daylight. River stage in Terre Haute is going down at about eight and a half feet. Right now at the airport in Terre Haute, nice 81 degrees. Winds are calm. Pressure's up some now at 30.06 as we get a break from the rain before more rain moves in tomorrow. Temperatures, though, are warm. 83 in Danville, 81 Terre Haute, 83 down in the Vincennes area. So we've got nice warm weather. Dry air moving in. Here's the moisture moving out. Here's a slot of dry air. And then here's our next system with a big blow up of storms in Kansas. That's a system we'll be watching as we get into the day for tomorrow. So everything moving out of the area now. Off to the west, that's our next system arriving late tomorrow. Here at home, early on, we had some rain. Early on, clouds. The clouds are clearing now. And moving to the southeast, the farther west and north you live, more sunshine you've seen over towards Bloomington, still some cloud cover hanging on. All clean on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar. Going to stay that way for a while. We anticipate no trouble tonight and nothing early tomorrow. It's later in the day when we start to see the rain chances increasing. So we'll stop this for you around 6 to 7 p.m. Scattered showers and some storms moving into about the state line. So again, probably up until at least early to mid-afternoon, we're okay. That'll clear out. Should give us dry weather then by midnight, if not before tomorrow night. Then Friday, a few lingering showers or storms will be possible before that all clears out by Friday evening, giving us dry weather as we head for the weekend. How about the threat of severe weather tomorrow, tomorrow evening? All of the areas under what we call a marginal or low end risk, slightly higher, what we call slight risk in our western and southwestern counties. That would be mostly tomorrow evening. We'll keep an eye on that, but there's a better risk off to the southwest of this area. But it's something we'll be watching during the day tomorrow. Rainfall, again, depending on if you get caught under some of these thunderstorms, we're probably talking about a half of an inch of rain here or there. So we're not talking about anything excessive, really. And then after that, look at this. Dry weather then for Saturday, Sunday, into Monday and Tuesday before the next chance of rain gets in here later Tuesday into Wednesday. So we are talking about a nice dry weather pattern, but it will definitely be cooler as we head for the holiday weekend. So forecast tonight, mostly clear, cooler, no rain tonight, 59 the low. Tomorrow, any showers and storms will be mostly afternoon, evening, 85, so pretty warm. Lingering showers into the day coming up on Friday. And then as we head for the holiday weekend, check it out. The high of only 63 on Saturday, but back in the 70s for Sunday and on Monday. That's your forecast. Sports with Grant right now. Thanks, Jesse. Good evening.